please subscribe and like this video. Thank you. How are you? Hello, hello, Ramos. I'm fine, and how are you? Oh, I'm good. Uh, I'm glad to see you, brother. Can you introduce yourself? Thank you so much, Ramos. Um, it is my pleasure as well to to be on this interview. Yeah. Uh, my name is my name is Wellington. Yeah. I come from Zambia. Yeah. Uh, yes. Zambia is uh, in in the in the middle or in the eastern part of Africa? Can you explain it? Zambia is in the southern part of Africa. Oh, southern part. So it's, yes, in the uh, southern part of Africa. Actually, oh, we are closer. We are closer to South Africa. Oh, close, yeah. Border. You have a border with the South Africa. Okay. Almost. Uh, thank you, Wellington. And you live in what city? Where your uh, the city you live? Living? I live in the city of Solwezi. Oh, okay. I will have to look it, look in the map. Yes, because... that is that is the northwestern part of Zambia. Oh, northwest. Is it far away yes. from Lusaka? No, uh, it is. It is very far. Uh, how it's many about, um, hours? It's about 600, 600 and something kilometers. kilometers. Oh, yes. so it means maybe... Uh, eight hours by car, riding yeah, almost. Uh, uh, yes, yes. Hours. Okay, so uh, according this uh, situation, this is a very bad situation for our world today. I want uh, to to uh, ask uh, some question to you as a young Christian uh, people from Zambia. Uh, okay, the first question to you. Uh, Brother, what is the condition right now in Zambia because COVID-19? What is your situation in your city, in your country? Uh, um, thank you so much, Ramos. I would say the condition here in Zambia, yeah, it's uh, very much unstable. Unstable, okay. And very much unstable. The atmosphere is not uh, conducive. It's very bad oh, okay. uh, due to COVID-19. Yeah which has um, brought a lot of uncertainty within the people. Yeah. Which has brought a lot of fear within the people. Okay. Yes, so um, business as usual has gone to stand still. Uh, stagnant. Yes, it's yeah, okay. stagnant. Okay. Yes, so this has brought a lot of, uh, I would say, poverty. Oh, poverty, oh. More property. has brought hunger. Yes, yeah. it has brought hunger yeah. because people are no longer wait, working. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. People are not uh, productive because okay. of the new normal which has come. People have to keep their social distance away from the other. Okay, okay, yeah. So this has brought a lot of panic and, and fear into the people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm yes. very sorry. So the atmosphere is really bad and it's not conducive here in Zambia. Okay. And do you think your government uh, is not uh, good in taking care about uh, this situation? And the government is the government is playing its role and is doing everything possible oh, okay. uh, to protect the people yeah. as well as to do everything possible that would uh, stop the uh, the spread of the COVID nineteen. Yeah. But the challenge is we need to receive. Um, I would be suffice to mention that Zambia is a landlocked country. Oh, okay. You're yes, so we country. get most of our essentials from other countries. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Um, the people that are coming from other countries, the truck drivers, uh -huh. are mostly that the ones that are carrying uh, this pandemic. Oh, oh, okay. Yes. The... So the contact to contact. Uh, uh, spread yeah. has also escalated. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, and the government is doing everything <clears throat> possible to find the cure and also to to stop this contact to contact person that is occurring. Okay, so you want to say your government all uh, doing their uh, the best uh, yes. that uh, they yes. can. Okay, yes. 
Um, actually, uh, actually, the government has gone ahead to close all the schools because the schools are closed now. Okay. Because I am a student, I am a theological student as well. Mm -hmm. uh, this time, as I speak, I, I, I'm home. We have closed, uh, okay. and the, a number of things have been closed because the government is trying to look on ways and means on how to stop the COVID-19. Uh, okay, okay, yes, uh, okay. And uh, uh, in this situation, uh, brother Wellington, do you have any scary experience? during this time? Well, um, Ramos, it is so scary because uh, the COVID-19 is an invisible enemy. Oh, okay. I will... Yes, it is an invisible enemy and he, um, he, everyone is scared. Of course, even me, I'm scared because I do not know who has it and who do not have it. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And, you know, once you contact it, uh, you know, like we are seeing in two other countries, um, it's scary whether you you'll be alive or not. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so the spread is so rampant. So it has brought a lot of fear. We are all scared because we don't know who is carrying it and who is not. Oh, and okay. it's a deadly disease that is killing. Yeah. Yes. And the other scary thing that I must mention to you yeah. is that um, our economy. Oh. What has become it? so bad because of the same. Oh, really? Yes, uh, our economy has really shaken. Oh, but I think so, you, but I think your country uh, doesn't bankrupt yet. Doesn't bankrupt. Not yet. Oh, no, not yet. Okay. But the thing that is scaring is we might uh, go to that. It might lead to that. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that is some, that is something that is so scary. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, so, yeah, so almost everyone is afraid. Yeah. And uh, I must uh, mention to you as well that uh, even the churches have closed. This oh. has affected people's faiths. Uh, yeah, 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 okay, okay. So Yes, uh, this has literally affected the uh, people's faith that uh, church buildings, the Christians, the Muslims, they have all closed uh -huh. for uh, trying to help the government to curb the yeah. pandemic. Okay. But uh, suffice to mention to you that yeah. uh, very soon, in the recent past, yeah. the Republican president of Zambia yeah. allowed uh -huh. the churches that they may open. Oh, they may open. Whilst okay. adhering, they may open and begin worshipping. Uh, whilst adhering to the government precautionary measures put in place by the Minister of Health. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. And but I will be quick to suggest to mention to you that even the church is afraid to go back to the church. Uh, the people are scared. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I understand. Yes. So uh, that that is so scaring because it has affected people's faith. Uh, what is it, your spiritual experience uh, connecting with your scary experience in this time okay um i would say in, in my view i yeah. think um personally uh spiritually i'm not so scared of this thing okay honestly i must confess that i'm not scared of this thing okay. it's just the outward the physical uh, uh, outward being but that is maybe because no it would destroy the body here and there you are able to transmit it to the families here and there, that is the most scary thing that I'm afraid of. But spiritually, I must confess that I'm not. Even scary. my faith has not been shaken with this because oh. I feel I'm, I'm I'm picking some lessons out of this thing. Okay, okay. I want I, I'm picking some lessons of what what is it that God is saying out of this thing. Okay. So spiritually, personally, I'm not scared. This is the reason why even after the churches were opened, mm. some people are afraid of going there. I am still going to church and worshiping God because I'm not scared. Okay, it's good for you. Uh, and yeah. then uh, after this time, do you think any message from God in this situation? Oh, yes, Ramos. I feel there's a message uh, uh, coming from God. Yeah. What is it? Suffice to mention, su suffice to mention that um, in every situation that happens, God has never been quiet. Oh, okay. He's always be there with us. But God he always says something with us. 
Ah, okay. So, uh, I, I may not to be too sure what God is saying, but what I know is God is saying something. Okay, but you don't know exactly what exactly he says. what God is saying. I'm not okay. sure, okay. but I know that God is saying something, whether positive or negative. But oh. God is saying something. Okay. The truth of the matter is, God has never been negative. God has always been positive. Positive. Okay. So at least something positive God is saying. Ah, uh, okay. Mm. Uh, okay. And the, um, the biggest, the, in a quick moment, Ramos, yeah. let me make mention that um, uh, God is saying something here. Yeah. And uh, I, I've got a scripture with me, which the viewers out there can try to consider. Okay. In the, uh, in the Old Testament book. Okay. You know what book? That is in the uh, Second Chronicles, chapter oh, okay. Second 12. Chronicles, chapter 12. Okay. Chapter 12, uh, verse 5 to 7. Oh, 5 to 7. Okay. Thank you for the verses. So this is the lesson that I'm picking that. Okay. I'm picking in the contemporary society that perhaps the world, we have abandoned God. This is the time that the entire world should return to God. Okay. and return to God and okay. live away whatever okay. that is going on. So my lesson that I'm picking from this word is that we need to humble ourselves. Oh, I agree. I'm agree with you, brother. Okay. Yes. So this is the time to repent. The entire world has to repent and go back to the Lord. This is what I'm learning. Okay. It's good. It's yes. good. Okay. Yes. And uh, do you have any message or statement to our uh, young people, Christian people in Indonesia. Thank you so much, Ramos. Actually, I yes, I have. Yeah, please. Um, it's not only to the Indonesian. Oh. Uh, I have a message to the okay. Indonesians as well as the entire world, even my fellow youth here in Zambia. Okay. And all the Christians. Okay. The message that I have is simple and straightforward. God is with us. God is with us. Emmanuel. Emmanuel is okay. with us. Okay, okay. Even in this hardest, the difficult situation of this pandemic, God is right here with us. Is God is with us. Okay. I want to I want to encourage each one of us, all the viewers, that yeah. um, let us take a leaf of the time of the children of Israel when they suffered in Egypt. It was yeah. it took about four hundred and thirty years yeah, suffering, okay. suffering, but God was with them. He remembered yeah. them and he delivered them from the calamities and yeah. the slavery and the oppression. Yeah, true, true, it's true. Quickly, uh, quickly, Ramos, I yeah. want to, uh, to, to take a leaf uh, to, to take all my viewers yeah. from the book of Judges. Oh, Judges, okay. The, the book of Judges, Judges chapter 6, verse six. 11 to... 11 to? Uh, to 13. Oh, 13, okay. Uh, to 13. Yeah, 13. Yes. Uh, this is the time. This is the time when Israel was taken into captive into Babylon. Okay. So uh, now this is the time in verse eleven. Uh, the angel appeared to Gideon and said, "The Lord is with you, mighty warrior. God uh, delivered the Israelites. Yes, that is past. Whatever that God did is past. But we want to see." God in our present situation. Yes, the youths and the, pre the Christians of Indonesia, yeah. they are saying we want to see God in the present situation. Yes, oh. the whole world is shaking. They are saying we want to see God in the present situation. I'm saying yes, even in this pandemic of COVID-19, God is right with us. But God was right there. Okay. Even in our contemporary society, as the people of Indonesians, all the Christians, and in Zambia, the entire world, yeah. yes, to say that God is with us right now, God is involved in the matter, it appears as though it is not making sense. But I want to say God is with us. Yeah, he will yeah. deliver us, and he will come to our aid. Okay. In the book of Corinthians, uh, in the book of uh, Second Chronicles chapter 7, the okay. God will come and heal the land of Indonesia, God will come and heal the land of Zambia. God will heal the earth. So okay. God is with us. This okay. is my message. God okay. is with us. Thank you very much, brother. I'm very touching with your message uh, and your experience, spiritual experience. Uh, and I hope your message will deliver to all Christian people around the world, not only in Indonesia and Zambia. 
and uh, thank you thank so, you so much, much see you see you next time again bless god, you god bless you brother thank you so much my brother bye bye